in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can easily program your raspberry pi paiku using micropython and tony and start making your own amazing projects using raspberry pi paiku i will leave the link to this page in the description below so that you can simply copy paste the links the codes and anything you want in the previous video i showed you how you can upload programs to your paiku using arduino ide if you want to see that you can click on the link here now let's start the first thing to do is get the micropython bootloader uf2 file from the micropython segment on the raspberry pi documentation page now press and hold the boot cell button on your board and plug in your paiko to your computer via micro usb cable pc should detect the device as a usb storage device once you see the drive appear on the screen you can release the boot cell button now you can simply drag and drop the uf2 file we downloaded a few seconds back and that's how you install the micropython bootloader into your pi your paiko will now reboot automatically and now you are running micropython in your paiko now you can start programming your paiko using python tony is the most widely used editor for raspberry pi paiko let's see how we could use it through a simple tutorial now go to tony website and get it free for your system make sure you are downloading the latest version of tony Once the download is finished, you can install the package by running the setup file. Once the installation is done, you can close it and start Tony. Now, you can click on the drop down here and select Raspberry Pi Pico. You will now see a Python shell update to let you know that your Pico is ready and working. Now, to test, you can print some text using the print command. Now, when you hit run, it will ask you to save the code. Save the code in your Raspberry Pi Pico and make sure you give .py extension to your file. Otherwise, it may not detect the code. Once it is saved, the code will run and here you should be able to see the output. This will reassure that the new Raspberry Pi Pico is very easy to code with MicroPython. Now, we will try flashing an LED. We will open a new window and start coding. To get started, let's import two MicroPython libraries, pinclass and utime. You can import pin class from the machine library and utime is basically used to control the speed of our code like adding delay in Arduino. Now, we will add an object titled LED to connect the GPIO pin 25 where LED is connected and set it as an output pin. In the next line, we will be setting the LED pin to low so that the light will not be glowing in the beginning of the sketch. To blink our LED, we will write a while true loop. That means while true This loop never ends. It will keep on running. Inside the loop, we will toggle our LED on and off and print a message on the shell every time LED toggles its state. To see this, we will add a delay of 1 second. Now, let's save the code, give the file a name and make sure you provide .py extension. And here we go. The LED is now blinking. This is just a hello world example. Just a stepping stone to help you guys get started with Pico. We will be uploading more awesome Pico projects in our channel. If you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button here. See you in the next video.